All right, well, yesterday we talked to uh, some folks from UConn, and they were unhappy with the fact that Linda Sarsour, she started the women's marches. She said some anti-Semitic comments in the past, and uh, she has been invited to the school to speak, and she is going to you know, be on campus. Anyone can come and watch her. I don't know if they're selling tickets or how they're handling that, but no counselors needed. But yet when you go to UConn, because I guess uh, they're offended by you and maybe you're dangerous, they have to have police mm. there, they have to have counselors there. What was your reaction when you heard that they were inviting Linda Sarsour? I mean, it certainly shows that the snowflake syndrome seems to centralize on one side, that really it's only the left uh, that is filled with, with horrible snowflakes who are interested in shutting down debate at college campuses and mandating that there be hundreds of police officers and a ban on public on the general public from attending uh, my lectures. When, when it's Linda Sarsour, who is infinitely worse uh, in terms of controversy than I am. I mean, this is, this is a woman who recently defended uh, people who were defending Louis Farrakhan, and she is treated as just a normal part of the political debate mm -hmm. at UConn. As I'm glad that UConn had me, but the fact they had to take all these precautions in order for me to come, and then they had to warn the students as though I was going to scar them for life. But Linda Sarsour, who says really awful right. things on a regular basis, comes and there's no warning to the population, just right. shows how leftist the administration is. Ben, well, ben, can I make an observation? It doesn't seem to bother you. No, I don't care. I mean, yeah. listen, as long as I get to talk to, to the students, uh, I'm, I'm a happy camper. And, uh, and again, I'm always grateful to administrations for allowing me there. But I can't be bothered by all the stupid people who want to shut down debate. I mean, if, if we did that, then right. we wouldn't have a country. Ab absolutely. There's the whole thing about what uh, the, the, ve the heckler's veto, where if they complain about somebody, you wind up getting sent uh, far away from the main place. But apparently UConn said they went through the same uh, protocol with her that they did with you. Ultimately, though, that's what you want to hear on campus. She's got some she's got some extraordinary views. You've got some views. You want to hear all the views. You don't want any editing. No question. I mean, I just wish that we'd had the same treatment as Sarsour. And again, some of it's on the administration and some of it is on the, the Antifa folks and, and some of the people who are, are radical. Again, the radicals don't exist on the right. There's not a lot of people who are attempting to shut down Sarsour who are threatening the event with violence. Uh, there, there's a reason that the administration didn't feel that police officers were necessary in the same numbers as at my event. And that's not because of the controversiality of my views. That's because there are a bunch of radicals on the left who legitimately are committed in fascist fashion to shutting down free speech in a way that people on the right generally are not. And yeah, the Ben what? Shapiro Show and those ideas can be found on your podcast, right? Yep, absolutely. Check that out. I appreciate it. Thanks for the plug, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Ben.